All right, Shalom. First off, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay. Um, I want to go in this lesson, you know, because right now um, the uh, topic of uh, simps and, um, you know, women is really um, out here right now. Okay. And I just wanted to go in on how, you know, the scriptures is our woman and brothers need to stay focused on the goal that is at hand. Okay. Um, it's easy for brothers to get caught up. And these women, you know, we see a lot of these women that, you know, are physically attractive, okay? You might even have some women that um, may say that they believe in the truth, okay? But the thing is that, you know, the to the brothers that, you know, don't have women or, or you know, you might have a woman or you might you might be looking at the situation like, you know, I want to, you know, get these women and stuff like that, you know, which is nothing wrong with that. But the mindset is, you know, being focused on the truth, man. Okay. And and to be honest, these women out here, even if they say that they, they are in the truth, they really not in their right mind. Okay. They're really not in their right spirit. Okay. Now you have some women that are trying. Okay. Which that, you know, is is a good thing, okay? But for the most part, the brothers that, you know, don't have women, you know, uh, and then you might uh, be on the uh, verge of, um, you know, having that, that animosity to women because they are uh, going off and stuff like that. Well, we have to understand that, you know, everything um, happens for a reason and, you know, our people are a necessary evil. You know, the women are a necessary evil by them going off. And yes, they do need to be reproved. And, you know, just like Esau is a, a necessary evil. Okay? But the more, more important thing is that we need to focus on doing this work and reaching the elect. Okay? That's what the Lord called us in, to, in this truth uh, to do. Okay? So, with that said, <clears throat> this is 1 Corinthians 7 and 1. Now concerning the things whereof uh, ye wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Okay? It's good for you not to even, you know, deal with these women, touch these women. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we go out and we could teach and everything like that. You know, but when you come into this, um, into this truth and you get the understanding, you know, a lot of the things that women do, it vexes you. Okay? It vexes your spirit. And um, uh, it's like, why would you want to put yourself through that uh, through that heartache? Okay. Um, this is 1 Corinthians. Um, I believe the point is in the 20, uh, third ver 28th verse. Okay. But I'm going to start at 27. Okay, it says, Art thou bound unto a wife? You know, so if you got a woman, you know, it says, Seek not to be loosed. Okay, don't throw your woman away. Art thou loosed from a wife? Seek not a wife. Okay? You know, if you don't have a woman, don't don't go looking for one, man. You know? Um, but, and if thou marry, if you do go get a woman... You have not sinned, okay? So it's nothing wrong with going out here and go get a woman, okay? It says, and if thou, if, if a, mer a virgin marry, she have not sinned. Nevertheless, such shall have trouble in the flesh, but I spare you, okay? So the thing is, you get a woman, you have to know you're going to have that trouble in the flesh, man. Even if they uh, so-called follow the truth and everything like that, you know, it's still going to be that trouble in the flesh, when dealing with these women, okay, uh, the main thing, <clears throat> honestly, is to just focus on this word, man, you know, uh, going on to the next verse, it says, but this I say, brethren, the time is short, 
it remains that both they that have wives be as though they had none. Okay? So the ones that, that have wives, man, you might have a woman, and it's like you don't have a woman, man. This these scriptures are your women. Okay? And a lot of women cannot get that uh that uh thing, man. You know? They they want you to be uh available for, for Saturdays, you know what I'm saying? They don't want you throwing up videos. Um, you can't really have a, a, a decent talk with them, you know. Um, they 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 want to control things. They want to control the relationship. They want to, you know, rule rule over you, you know. When the, the 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 truth of the matter is that, you know, these scriptures say what they say, man. Okay, if you follow these scriptures and you don't got a woman. Hey, in the kingdom, we're going to have multiple women, man, okay? That's in their right mind, okay? And that woman that, that isn't in her right mind, you know that you might be stressing over, okay? You know, she won't go her own way, let her go her own way. In the kingdom, you'll be able to bring her back, you know what I'm saying, in her right mind, and she'll be, in, she'll be your woman, okay? All of this stuff is temporary, man, and you don't need to be losing the kingdom over these uh, women, man, Okay? And these women, you know, they they don't they don't um they don't really get it, man. Okay, uh, you told them, you know, a man is supposed to be able to have more than one woman. They don't get that, you know. So so it's like then then they they ask you, oh, do you want one more than one woman? And they make it seem like you know, uh, like we out here actually doing that, you know, like we actually are polygamous. But the screen, the thing is, you know. Hey, we don't need these women, man. You know? Pray that the Lord put the spirit on you to 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 not deal with these women. You know, or it, the Lord might even send you something your way, man. You know? But the thing is, we're not supposed to stress over these women because first off, the time is America is about to be destroyed, man. Okay? We ain't got time to be playing no games, going on multiple vacations and shit like that, man. You know, we need to focus on the task that is that is at hand. Okay? Um, going on, Ecclesiasticus uh 30 36 and uh 25. Where no hedge is, there's there there the possession is spoiled. Okay? And what 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 does that mean, man? You know, a lot of these women, you know, they they, they are possessions according to the scriptures, man. You know? And and you told them uh, you know, you're supposed to give it up to me, you know what I'm saying, you're supposed to have sex, and you know what I'm saying, you're supposed to be in submission and stuff like that, they don't want to listen, but let them be single, okay, these women out here, um, you know, letting every rod go up in them, you know, uh, don't have no, no, uh, protection, and when, when shit get real out here in America, these women are going to come running, man, okay, it says, and he that has no wife will go wandering, I mean, will wander up and down mourning. You know, I don't got no woman, man. Uh, you know, I went, I, uh, I almost uh, had this woman. I don't know what the fuck happened. You know, that type of shit, man. You know, you worried about, you know, not having a woman. When these women out here, you know, they just, they're they not in their right mind. They're not really, really waiting for a man of the Lord to come their way, man. You know, because if they if these women understood who the real men of the Lord was, then then they would be with us, man. You know, and we can't. It's all spiritual. We can't uh uh um show them. You know what I'm saying? That we are the men of the Lord because you know we got we we believe and we have that faith. You know what I'm saying? But they don't they don't can't they can't see it. You know, and they will see it during that time. Okay, so that that whole not having a woman thing, you know, brothers need to be patient and and uh wait for that, man. You know? Um in the meantime, you got, you know, the 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 the, the scriptures, you know, which is your woman, you know, you can call up brothers, okay? You can you can look at uh videos, get more knowledge, okay? Yeah, yeah, men are supposed to, you know, women are supposed to help the men, you know? But these women ain't these. You gotta you gotta learn how to do things your own your own man. You know, these these women need us to get into the kingdom, man. We don't need them, man, because the Lord can just you know uh, 
had, well, he already got women waiting for us in the kingdom. Okay? And that's the mindset that we need to be having. Not the, oh, I need, I wish I had a woman. I don't got no woman. You know, I need to, 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 to get some every now and then. And, you know, hey, man, that's not what we out here for, man. Okay? And brothers, you know, need to be in the, the same or the right spirit. Okay? Um, like I said, these the, the scriptures are our women, man. Okay, and if you um do um by chance get a woman, okay, um, cause I wanted to go into this um this topic of uh you know getting to know a woman, okay, which according to the scriptures, to know somebody according to the scriptures, it means uh uh having sex, okay. Um, the definition, the, the etymology of the word know, okay, when, so when somebody says, I'm trying to get to know you, okay, it goes back to, uh, sexual intercourse, and I'm gonna prove it, okay, um, the etymology of the word know, okay, which is, you know, a verb, okay, um, it says, uh, perceive a thing to be identical with another, uh, be able to distinguish, Perceive or understand is a fact or truth. Know how to do something. Um, it says, uh, continuing on, it says, uh, perceive, understand, recognize, have a knowledge of, know how to understand, perceive, to get to know, recognize, okay, I'll continue went on. It says from the uh, 1200th century is to experience, live through, meaning to have sexual intercourse with. Okay? So if a man or a woman says that they're trying to get to know you, ultimately that means that they're trying to have sex with you, man. Okay? And, and, and sex is how you get to know somebody, man. Okay? And when when you when you look at it from a, a, a spiritual aspect, you know, getting to know someone is not a, a destination, man. Okay? Even getting to know ourselves, man, it's not a destination. It's a journey, man. It's a it's an experience. Okay. Um we 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 like as a baby, okay, as a as a child, you growing up, right? You don't know the things that you're allergic to. Okay? But when you when you like eat some peanut butter or something, and I, let's say that you're allergic to peanut butter, and you're a baby, you don't know any any better, and then you eat peanut butter, and next next thing you know, you know you you have an allergic reaction to it. Now you know that you're not supposed to eat peanut butter, okay? And that's how you you get to know somebody, man. When you go through an experience and you see that they actually are sticking by you, okay? Not the fact that you know their uh their uh favorite color, okay? Or 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 uh what their birthday is, this worldly bullshit, man. Okay? Getting to know somebody is having sexual intercourse, and when you have sexual intercourse with somebody, okay, according to the scriptures, that will allow the woman to be more uh more submissive to you. They're supposed to be submissive to you, okay? They're supposed to want to do the things uh to you that you're supposed to because men are supposed to humble their women man and when you when you don't or, or when you do uh have sexual intercourse with these women out here these women have so many different spirits on them man okay so so technically you're getting to know a demon man because these women are not in their right minds okay in the kingdom when you when you get to know a woman and you have sexual intercourse with that woman that woman is going to be, it's going to be like, like coming to America, man. Okay. Something beyond our wildest dreams, man. It ain't going to be that, you know, if that, if this chick going to be with me tomorrow type shit, man, after I fuck, or, or if this man going to be with me tomorrow after I, after I, uh, have sex with him. Okay. It ain't going to be none of that, man. In the kingdom, our women are going to be in their right minds. They're going to know what, what the heck to do. Okay. What, what, what man they're with. Okay, the children are going to all have the same father. Okay, 
and we're we're gonna we're gonna live and we're gonna serve the heavenly Father in truth, man. Okay, away from this wicked society. So the point of the matter is that we're supposed to, you know, have these scriptures as our women, man. Okay, stop trying to chase and get to know these women that are not uh, virtuous women, man. Okay, and start start getting to know these scriptures and get familiar with what the Lord, you know, said for us to do, man. Because the Lord is married onto us, and these the scriptures is our women, okay? So with that, you know, hopefully this was edifying, okay? I want to say shalom until next time.